So this is station uh, is discussing about a budget disease of the vulva. We call it extra mammary budget. Um, so Sandra Joan, which is having uh, a vulval biopsy done, uh, she is a 74 year old patient and her vulval biopsy resulted uh, in diagnosis of budget disease. So what is Paget disease is a very, very rare malignancy which originates from the apocrine glands of the vulva, of the vulval skin. And uh, it's most commonly in the postmenopausal ladies. So what are the data from the history you need to know? First of all, I want to know about the presentation or the presenting complaint of that patient. Sometimes... Uh, or the most common uh, complaint may be itching or pruritus vulva. Sometimes she may present it with uh, some pruritic or eczematous lesion, uh, just or just irritation of her vulva, or sometimes even asymptomatic. So uh, I also want to know about her bowel habits and urinary. So if she has any symptoms abnormally related to change in her bowel or urinary uh, symptoms, because sometimes, you know, the budget disease is a type of adenocarcinoma. So sometimes it may be just an extension of adenocarcinoma in um, colorectal cancer or uh, urinary bladder uh, or urethral cancer. So we, we really uh, need to ask about bowel and urinary symptoms, very important. And uh, definitely the age because it's common in the postmenopausal lady. And also uh, we need to ask about other symptoms like any gynae oncology case. Uh, for example, the gynae history, we need to ask about um, uh, everything, any other complaint. Uh, what about her uh, smear tests? Is, is she up to date with her smears? And uh, whether she has any previous surgeries, any previous vulval conditions, like sometimes she may have long-standing like sclerosis and then ended up with this kind of cancer. And also we need to ask her about uh, if she noticed any other lesion in any area in her body like the nipple or any other places okay and also um, we need to ask her about um, presence of unintended we uh, like weight loss or easy fatigability uh, like the symptoms of having cancer you know most of the cases are asymptomatic but we need just to ex exclude any symptoms like that uh, family history is very important, like um, especially if uh, family history of cancers and also uh, whether she's having a good support at home is very, very important. Okay, um, we need to examine her. Definitely, we need to have a look on the lesion and um, then uh, if possible, we can... Um, ask the lady if she's okay for breast examination we can do that as well and uh, we need to inform her about her diagnosis and the need of treatment and follow-up uh, what we need to tell the patient uh, that the risk of recurrence is very very high it can reach up to 50 percent of cases even with a proper uh, removal of the the tumor or the cancer um, that's why um, it's very very important for her to attend uh, the follow-up uh, visit on the long term run um, so what we are going to do for this case so we will we'll, we'll do uh, further investigations um, just to rule out any extension uh, or invasion of the disease so imaging and also we can uh, if the patient having any symptoms related to the bowel or the urinary bladder we can ask for colonoscopy or cystoscopy uh, according to what she has 
and also we can do some blood tests and tumor markers just to exclude any other tumor elsewhere in the body and then uh, once reports uh, out we will refer her to the multidisciplinary team which is a group of doctors um, consists of um, a consultant oncologist and a gynecologist con consultant who has a special interest in gynecology uh, also um, a clinical pathologist radiologist and a, a cancer specialist nurse okay so they will discuss her in this meeting and decide which um, what is the best treatment for her and then we will inform her about the management so what are the modalities of treatment possible for uh, budget disease so most of the cases are treated by surgery so we'll do wide local excision uh, of the vulva that's the most common type of treatment uh, offered for budget disease uh, but according to uh, how the lesion is extending uh, unfortunately um, the disease may be extending far far away behind the margins seen on the lesion and like about 50 percent of the, the uh, wide local excision have uh, a positive uh, margins for the malignancy what does this mean like if you see the lesion like uh, for example uh, like three to five centimeter and then you excised around the tumor some of the healthy tissue and when you send it for the histology uh, the histology will reply to you that even the, the margin you take around is still positive for the cancer cell so you didn't excise the full cancer or extension so some some patients may be also treated uh, by simple valvectomy and some of them may be needing a radical valvectomy if it is involving uh, the lymph nodes um, what are the side effects or um, uh, the drawbacks of the surgical treatment for that uh, is the risk of recurrence because we told before that the risk of recurrence in budget disease is around 50 percent so even if we remove the whole lesion still there is a risk of we may miss some cells elsewhere uh, and not taken with the with the excision and then again she may need another surgery and another surgery and um, in the vulval region with an old lady uh, we don't really uh, keen to have repeated surgery because of the risk of infection and uh, risk of wound breakdown because of low immunity and uh, lack of hormones and everything so sometimes it, it is not the best option and also uh, the risk of we may not be excising the whole uh, malignant cells that's of concern as well because uh, we don't need to uh, like expose the patient to um, an, like uh, a, a surgery and she she may not get the optimum benefit from that so if we are going to offer this surgical treatment we need to inform the patient that there is a risk of we may not take all the tumor cells out there is a risk of recurrence and both of them are very high um, there are uh, some non-surgical treatment uh, one of them is the radiotherapy and the radiotherapy is the, the, the treatment of a choice in case of we have um, like anorectal budget disease uh, or gen uh, genital I mean because we can't do surgical excision uh, for the whole area so we will just offer her radiotherapy sometimes uh, if the patient is unsuitable for surgery uh, we offer her radiotherapy or sometimes it may be given as an adjuvant for the surgery so we will do surgery and then uh, do the radiotherapy as adjuvant treatment just to uh, secure all the remaining uh, cells that we may possibly uh, left it 
uh, unintended okay also uh, we have um, the chemical uh, treatment with uh, like emic mood five uh, percent which is uh, applied to the area like uh, every other day uh, there, is, the, the, there is some uh, side effects of emic mood cream it may cause some burning sensation irritation and um, also some uh, flu-like symptoms sometimes the patient may develop fever uh, on this cream and uh, it may need long long time for treatment sometimes it may reach up to 30 weeks of applying this cream to have an effect okay and uh, also we have one of the new modalities we call it uh, photodynamic therapy so what is photodynamic therapy uh, it's a type of uh, like you know we apply a, a specific type of cream to the affected area so this cream contains some substance which may uh, interfere uh, with the nature of the cancer cells and letting the cancer cells very sensitive to light okay and then we uh, expose the uh, these cells or the, the affected area to a specific wave uh, length of light like a laser uh, beam or something like that and then this light will destroy the cells because it becomes now more sensitive to the light we call it a uh, photodynamic therapy okay sometimes uh, we may need to put a uh, local chemotherapy okay and one of the treatment as well is um, the carbon dioxide laser ablation and usually we use this in recurrent after surgery like if the patient has surgery done and came after that with a recurrent disease then we will offer her carbon dioxide laser ablation rather than having a repeated surgery. So these are um, the modalities of treatment. So surgical and non-surgical. The, the surgical one uh, is the most common. And the non-surgical, first of all, the radiotherapy, then emic mood, then photodynamic therapy, then topical uh, chemotherapy, then carbon dioxide laser ablation the most important thing here is the follow-up so the patient has to know that she needs to come every three months okay uh, for two years for follow-up and then she has to come every year the, uh, after that um, we will not discharge the patient after five years like any cancer because of high recurrence rate so very very important to know this point that the patient has to come every three months for two years and then every year thereafter and we will not discharge her she will she will have to come for follow-up a yearly for life okay that's all about budget disease it's very very easy uh, once we know all the information about it okay Thank you. Yeah, I just need to mention that sometimes uh, uh, like 10% of cases may carry invasive cancer at the same time. We know that it is like locally invasive tumor, which is only specified um, to the skin and not invading down. But once uh, we diagnose it, we need to exclude invasion because around 10% may be invasive. Okay, thank you.